Okay, so we have a substance that weighs 11.4 grams. Mass of the substance is 11.4 grams. How many AMU, or atomic mass units, does that substance weigh? Okay, so it's a weird question, again, because normally you want to um, use the units that are appropriate for the amount that you're um, measuring. Okay, so atomic mass units are usually more appropriate for measuring atoms, molecules, those types of things. And if you have something that's, you know, this big or this much amount, you probably wouldn't use atomic mass units. But it's still a good uh, conversion problem and good for you to think about. Okay, so if you recall, one atomic mass unit equals 1.661 times 10 to the negative 24th grams, okay? So really all this is is kind of a conversion um, problem, okay? It just sounds a little scary. So we've got grams, we want AMU, and we have the conversion factor, right? So all we've got to do is multiply that by giving us mass units of AMU, okay? So there's nothing special, really, about the unit AMU, except that it's a very tiny mass unit that you're measuring, okay? So this should be an enormous number. That's what we're looking for, right? So 11.4 divided by 10 to the And I got, so the three sig figs, 6.86 times 10 to the 24 AMU. So if we wanted to measure that substance in AMU for some god-awful reason, you know, that would be, pardon? It's 24, right? Because it's going to be an enormous number, right? So if, it, if you got something like negative 24, what you did was put these on the wrong, you flipped them in the wrong order. Because if you're going to divide by a negative, a big negative exponent, then you're going to get a huge exponent here. Okay? So this is way below 1, right? And this is way below 1. And you want to think, these are tiny, tiny units, so you're going to have a lot of them, right? So if you think, how many grams does a Mack truck weigh? Right, it's going to be like billions of billions, you know? So there's like, how many, this is like a Mack truck, and these are like grams, if you want to think about that, okay? So it's good to put things in perspective like that, too. So thinking outside of the chemistry class probably helps you out more often than, you know, anything else. Uh, no, I'll give you that conversion. I'll give you that conversion. It's a good thing, it's a good conversion to keep in your head, you know, so you'll just have it on hand. But it's like Avogadro's number. It's a good, good one to kind of know offhand. Any other questions on this one?